Hey YouTube, it's Peyton and today I'm here with my friend Jordan and today we are collabing to come to you guys with a video about college freshman, freshman advice. advice. We're going to tell you guys all the things that we wish we knew as freshmen and all the things that we think you guys need to know. They're essential. Like, like they're essential, they're crucial to getting through your freshman year in college. We are freshmen right now. We have one week left until school is over, and then there's the summer, and then we're sophomores. Hey, yeah. Hey, 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 hey. The way that it's gonna be broken down, there's gonna be two videos. There's gonna be one for social life, basically partying, friends, drugs. <laughs> and just things that you should know within college. And then there's gonna be a second one that's gonna be academic life, things that you should know about academics, how to stay on top of things, and you know, just guiding your way. This video is specifically about social life and maintaining your balance with, you know, just college in general. And we'll be back with part two in about a week or so. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe now. Don't forget to hit that bell next to the subscribe button so you make sure you never miss a video. So let's get started. So we have things written down, like I typed up stuff on my laptop. So if you see us reading, we're reading from it. Making friends. Watch who your friends are and just remember that friends come and go. That's like life, not even just college. Yeah. You stay on campus, as in like live on campus. It's better if you stay on campus your first year because you get to know more people and you get to meet your roommates. You get to meet like some of the best people that you meet in your life, honestly. Everybody who has like best friends always say like, oh, I met my best friends in college. It's just best to stay on campus just so you get more acquainted with your campus and just so you meet more people in your campus. You should also try to avoid going home as often as possible because if you go home, it's kind of like commuting. Like you're honestly not living on campus if you're always at, at home. Like what if your friends want to hang out with you? Yeah. You're not even there. The weekends are the, the most fun part. And if you're not here on the weekends, like what are you doing? And another thing that comes with staying on campus, you get homesick. Well, you're going to miss your parents. You're going to miss your family. That doesn't mean that you have to go home and cry to them, okay? Even though you miss them so much, you have to learn how to be independent, learn how to live on your own. Time to learn how to wash your clothes, iron, and sometimes even cook. <laughs> JK, get those swipes. Yeah. Get those swipes. <laughs> um, but yeah, just stay and make sure you stay in touch with your family. Call them, FaceTime them. Yeah, once just a day. don't yeah, just like don't disconnect with your friends and family back at home. They love you and you can't just go to college and like think you're gonna leave your family behind. Like don't you, you need your support system, so going to parties and socializing. We're not in the parties category yet, but this is a great way to make friends. Also try to choose your roommates and try to befriend people on your floor on Facebook groups. Um, you can like message people or sometimes you have portals, but just choosing them it can like avoid future conflict and Yeah, just make your life a whole lot easier But um, honestly, there's so many like roommate horror stories on YouTube if you want to laugh watch those But if you want to avoid those horror stories choose your roommates the last thing that we have is getting involved within social organizations on campus and if you're a minority it's really great to connect with other social groups such as lgbtq if you're muslim connect with the muslims if you're black connect with the blacks if you're hispanic latino connect with the hispanic latinos um just make sure you stay connected to your roots you know so you don't lose yourself because it's so easy to get lost when you come to college when you have to focus on your academics but i'm not going to talk about academics just social life those are the things that you want to do to make friends. If you think we missed anything, go ahead and comment that below. But now we're moving on to the next topic. Party advice. So, of course, after you make your friends, you know, then you're going to have your friends. And then you guys are going to be like, guys, you know, we've been knowing each other for so long. We need to go out. We need to, we need to explore. Loose. You know, like, we need to get out of the stamina. We've just been working hard. What are we going to do? You, you know what you're going to do? What? You don't go to a party. Okay. 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 Yeah. These are all the tips and advice that you need when you're going to a party. The first and most important rule. Rule of two or three. It's the rule of three, but I say rule of two because not everybody's about to go to a party with like three people. Always stay with other people because you never know who could be lurking, who could be watching. Something we all know who stays lurking. So just make sure you're not alone. There could be an emergency and your friends are going to have to dip. But if you're alone, who are you going to dip with? You're just going to be stranded. I've known people who have gotten stranded and it's not fun stories. Anything could happen to you, especially if you're intoxicated or under the influence. 
Next thing is to check Snapchat for a party. If if you know people going to a party, you bet. Ch just check the Snapchat. Oh, let me see if it's lit. Mm. That was whack. Let me see if it's lit. Oh, it's lit. Let's see. Let's see. I know when I was in high school, when I used to go to parties, I would pull up with like a lot of people. Don't do that in college. Like you're not gonna oh, get in. Yeah, Especially if you're it. a boy, don't go with a group of boys. The frat boys are not gonna let yeah. you in. It's like you need a ratio. Sometimes it's like one guy for like six girls. Like they don't they don't really want guys in. Sorry. And if you go to a party too deep, they're just not gonna let you in. So try to limit yourself to about five. Ask five people, cause like the only five people. Packed, so also go to a party late. We don't have that on there, but like don't go to a party on time. Always be fashionably late, because if you're too early, you're going to be like, oh, it's whack. Yeah. It's not whack. You just showed up way too soon. Yeah. If it's just people taking selfies of themselves at the party, it's, it's whack. probably whack. No, a party is lit if you see, like, one Snapchat and no more Snapchats yeah. after that. Like, or that's, like a, that's how I know. Or, like, a crowd of people and not just on yourself. Or if somebody just takes a picture looking sloppy, like, lit. Like, that's how you know. Share parties. So, same thing. When you check Snapchat, also share on Snapchat because other people want to know about parties, too. And the more you share with people, the more people are going to like you because they're like, oh, she always know about the parties. He already know. He always know about the parties. So, you have more people coming to you. Never drink random drinks or never take weed, never take acid, never take any kind of drug that you don't know where it came from, okay? I know that it's illegal to do that types of stuff, but when you're in college, literally you're exposed to everything. Let's be honest. Your parents aren't there to watch you, and if you do stuff, especially by yourself, you're, you won't You could lose your life. Yeah, like, you could lose your life. You could get raped. Anything can happen to you, and it's so serious. Like, make sure you watch who is around you and watch what you're doing. Don't trust anyone. Don't trust strangers yeah. at parties, okay? You can go and make make some acquaintances and make some new make some new friends. Just call them friends until you really get to know them, but just don't trust people that easily. That was all the things that we wanted to tell you guys about parties. If you think that we missed anything, you already know. Comment down below. Hi, you already know. Comment down below. Okay. Everyday college advice. So this is like, this is not like a specific category, I guess. This is just in general, things that we feel that you should know just... On the day-to-day. -day. Yeah, just the day-to-day, -day, just to keep up with your life. It's just being aware, being conscious, and being on top of things. So, one is not to dress cute every day for class. Um, it's no point. You yeah, see, we had to learn this the hard way. No, literally, when I first, when I came here, when I came As to UCLA the first quarter, I did my makeup every day, and I dressed cute every day. And I kid you not, I had 9 a.m. She was late. I was late. I was like, no, but I wouldn't be super late. I would just be a little bit late. But, like, I, I honestly... It's a waste of time. Like, you literally see the same people... And you're doing the same thing. You're doing the same thing. All I was doing was wasting makeup that I could have been wearing to make YouTube videos to go to parties. Now, all I do is wake up at 8.30, go straight to class, then come back and get ready. Girl, get you a good hat. Honestly, Invest get a hat, a get a sweater, get some leggings, and get some Uggs. Just wear that basic Maybe outfit to class. Some sunglasses, if you know. Oh, yeah. I wear my sunglasses because I be looking like trash when I wake up. So, I just pop on a hat and my sunglasses and get on my scooter. Scooter? Vroom. Ooh. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> like, go to sleep and wake up early. <laughs> I. This is not realistic, but just try it. It's not realistic, but it's literally so good to get on a good sleeping schedule. I have learned the hard way staying up super late. I really wish that I had a sleeping schedule. I truly regret not setting a sleeping schedule for myself, but I'm going to try to have one next year. It's so good to get sleep, especially when you're stressed out in college. Me, I didn't I I barely get sleep. You get sick, you get sad, you get stressed. Just not getting sleep is just not good for you. It's just not healthy at all. I had a really good sleeping schedule in high school because you know, in high school you have to be at school at a certain moment, like at 8 in the morning and like you lose that when you come to college. So like don't bro rely on that because everything is going to change when you get here sleep is important like is i know like in high school it's all like oh the vamp life oh i'm up like no you don't want to be up because honey it's really nothing but other people who are up and honestly only reason i would stay up is because i saw other people up but it's like other people didn't have 9 a.m's i did <laughs> The next thing is to stock up on necessities. So if you go to college out of state or you go to college somewhere that's not close to your house, you want to get, make sure you have a whole bunch of stuff that you need. Like you want to have your soap, your deodorant, your toothpaste, your if you want to get braids, get some fake hair. Yeah, you, like our school isn't close to like an ethnic beauty supply store. 
Or, so you have to travel super far. Yeah, and like just stock up on that stuff because you'll save money and time. Yep. Just stock up on those necessities because you will need them. Ask your parents, be like, can I get a care package? T go on Post Facebook, tell family members, can I get a care package? Post your mailing address on Facebook. Literally get an Amazon wish list and put it on mm -hmm. Facebook. Like, Let me tell you, the world loves college students. Like, They really will support you because they support the grind. So take advantage. Honestly, take it from me. I literally raised $500 yeah. for a fundraiser off Facebook. Like that. Like that. Off like Facebook. Something that's super important, have a, have a social media page. So make a Facebook, make a Twitter, make an Instagram, make a group me. Just have everything so you can connect with other people from your school and you can get to know people like we said don't have random roommates like it's better to just find somebody and then like get to know them and then become roommates like that's a lot easier and also you get to stay connected with groups and in your profile put your school and like your year because that's how like literally people found i've met so many friends over like social media have a credit card or a debit card if you're in college you're probably 17 or 18 once you turn 18 you need a debit card it like you could carry cash but in yeah. reality you want to be able to save your money and you want to be able to have a debit card because your parents you could just be like hey mom dad grandma can i get some money transfer 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 get google wallet get those cash sharing apps because when it's time for you to uber with your friends send money to just one person and in college you're gonna have like something like this on the back of your phone most people have this on the back of their phone and like it's easy to just put cards in so like Carrying cash, it just gets lost. Like, it's cards exactly. are just the best way. Sometimes, like, you only want to bring your phone to a party and, like, you don't have pockets for cash. Like, it's just easy to just bring cards. Talking about this, just make sure you keep track of your money because it's so easy to just be broke. Broke college student 101. Yeah, you know, you don't always have to go across the land. Ubers cost money, so get you a friend with a car. Just save. Participate in mindfulness activities and just to make sure that you take care of your mental health. Because like we said, it's so easy to get lost in college. It's so easy to just become overwhelmed. And the transition is really something crucial. So make sure that you take time to exercise or meditate, do yoga, uh, spend time with your friends. Or just do something nice for yourself once in a while outside of academics. You don't want to be the type to party 100% of the time, but you don't want to be the type to also do schoolwork 100% of the time. You need to have a mixture and a balance or you're going to lose yourself. Yeah. Take it from me. And it's okay to maybe like skip one class just to take a break. If you really need a breather, if you really need to catch up, like it's okay. But go to class. The last thing that we have is to be confident and just prepare for the transition and prepare to be overwhelmed because college is so much more different than high school. It's a lot more unexpected. Like, don't go in thinking, like, a bunch of stuff is going to come at you that you're not going to expect. So don't go in thinking it's going to be peaches and cream. Like, just be ready to for the punches to hit you because they're going to hit you. Open the doors for anything. Like, we just told you guys all this stuff. It's so much more, but we don't want to make this video super duper long. And, you know, we hope you guys enjoyed it. If you think that we missed anything, don't feel afraid to comment down below. And if you are if you think that it's just too private and you have a more personal question, feel free to DM me or email me asking me questions. I'm here to help and I'm open to everyone. So I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're going to come back with a part two for academics very soon. So stay tuned for that. If you like this video, give it a nice giant thumbs up. Don't forget to head on over to Jordan's channel and subscribe to her. Her channel will be linked right here. And subscribe to me if you haven't already. Thank you guys for watching. Bye! really pretty green and I just I, I just love it um yeah and then the bottoms I really like them because they have like this stringy detail on the in the front and the